بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم محمد رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ٹوڈے آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو ڈسکس تھری بیسک پرنسپلز آف اسلام اینڈ قرآن اینڈ حدیث ایز ویل اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہیز سیڈ ان ہز ہولی بک بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الناس انا خلقناکم من ذکر و انسا و جعلناکم شعوبا و قبائل لتعرفو انا اکرمکم اند اللہ اتقاکم It can be translated as O oh, mankind, we created you from one man and one woman and then divided you into different uh, nations and tribes so that you may recognize one another. Indeed, the most honorable among you in the sight of Allah is he who is the most wise of you. Surely, Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. Perhaps the world was never in great or greater need of an accurate account of the understanding of our religion, Islam, Quran, and uh, the life of our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. Then it is now, when whole world is in turmoil, due to different uh, issues and concerns, especially the coronavirus. In this holy verse of Quran, the whole mankind has been addressed to reform it of the great evil that has always been causing universal disruption in the world. That is the prejudices due to race, color, language, country, and nationality. On account of these prejudices, man in every age has generally been discarding humanity and drawing around himself small circles and regarding those born within these circles as their own and those outside them as others and us and them. In this brief holy verse of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has drawn the attention of all mankind to three basic key principles, three basic truths. Number one, Ya ayyuhun nas inna khalakna kum min dhakari wa unsa. That is the first truth, first key, first principle of Islamic universal declaration and Islamic universal teachings. The origin of all of us is one and the same. We all are from one man and one woman. Our races that are found in the world today are in fact the branches of one initial race that started with one mother and one father. In this process of creation, there is no basis whatever for the division, division and distinctions in which we have involved ourselves because of our false notions. One God is alone our creator, master, sustainer. Different men have not been created by different gods. That's one thing we have to accept it. We all have been created in one and the same way. 
It is not so that in the beginning there were many human couples which gave birth to different populations in different regions of the world. Number two, in spite of being one in origin, it was natural that we should be divided into different uh, tribes and different nationalities. Obviously, Allah, all the men on the earth could not belong to one and same family. With the spread of, spread of the race, it was certain that countless families should arise and then tribes and nations should emerge from the, from the families and from the men and women. Similarly, it was inevitable that after settling in different, different uh, regions, different parts of earth, there should be differences of colors, features, languages, and ways of living among the people. And it was also natural that those living in the same region should be closer in kinship. And those living in remote regions not so close, but this natural difference never demanded the distinctions of inequality, of high and low, of noble and nasty should be established on its basis. That one race should claim superiority over the other. The other people of one color should look down upon the people of other colors. And that one nation should take preference over the other without any reason. The creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, had divided the human communities, humans, into nations and tribes. For that, that was a natural way of cooperation and distinction between them. What is happening in America, you can see. What is happening in India, you can see, you can observe. Number three, the only basis of superiority and excellence that there is or can be between man and man is that of a moral excellence. As regards birth, all men are equal for their creator, who is one. Their substance of creation is one, and their way of creation is one, and they are descending from the same parents, Adam and Eve, alayhi salatu Moreover, a person is being born in a particular country, region, or nation, or clan is just accidental. Therefore, there is no rational ground on account which one person may be regarded as superior to other. The real thing that makes one person superior to others is that one should be more God conscious, a greater avoider of evils, and a follower of the way of piety and righteousness. These same truths have been explained by our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the occasion of the farewell pilgrimage in the midst of Ayam Tashriq after Hajj, he addressed the people and said, O oh people, be aware, your God is one. No Arab has any superiority over a non-Arab and no non-Arab have any superiority over the others and no white has superiority over the black, and no black has superiority over the white. In the sight of Allah, all they are equal, and there is only the 
uh, superiority, the base of superiority is that who is much more near to God and much more God conscious. In another hadith, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, Allah does not see your outward appearances, your dresses, your pictures, your appearances, and your positions, your wealth. You have the big buildings, you have the big motor cars, you have the limousine, you have different things. That is not the base of the superiority. But he sees your heart and your deeds. This hadith was narrated by Muslim and Bukhari as well. These teachings have not remained confined to the words only, but Islam has practically established a universal brotherhood of the believers on the basis of which uh, does not allow any distinction on account of color, race, language, country, or nationality. Allah knows better who really is in high rank and who is inferior in respect of qualities and characteristics. The standards of high and low that the people have set up their own accord are not acceptable in any way to and approved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maybe that the one who has been regarded as a man of high rank in the world is declared as the lowest of low on the day of the judgment, day of the resurrection. So Allah knows better. But I want to say, therefore, that the man should be and he should not think he is superior on the basis of those things. And he should not impose his own point of view on others that we are a high and others, they cannot drink water near our wells. So this is the thing what is happening in nowadays in the world. It's our responsibility as Muslims that we should spread this love and this equality and the truth among those people who don't know what Islam is. Jazakumullah khaira, ahsan al jaza. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand our religion and our deen. Jazakallah.